Hello YouTubers, here's Roman with another video. I promise you I was going to bring a video and here it is. Today's topic is about mechanical tape decks. And today I'm going to do my presentation on my JVC KD55. Alright, there's a way to handle a mechanical tape deck. I'm going to show you today. First of all, you open the tape compartment by pushing, you know, the stub eject and, and whatever's on your tape deck. Do it gently because you don't, you don't want to put too much pressure in these um, switches here. Alright, so, you, okay, you open the tape compartment, put the tape gently, don't jam the tape in there. Just go ahead and, you know, open the compartment, let it open, put the tape, you know, take your time, and close it. You don't have to push it like, boom, you know, real hard. No, don't do that. All right. What you do before you play the tape, put it on pause. And you have to excuse my fingernails because I was just uh, working on a engine today and, you know, how hard that is. So, my apologies. They're clean, but just, you know. Nah. Alright. So, you push the pause gently. And then you push play gently. See? You don't have to, like, push it real hard in there. But you push it gently. And then you let it go gently. You see? You don't have to, like, force everything and push and punch the switches. No, that's, that's a no-no. That's bad for the mechanical parts inside all right so you know you play the tape and if you want to stop it in any moment just pause it again put one finger if you can put one finger on the play switch and then with another finger gently stop it you see how gently that was I'm do it I'm gonna do it again look gently when you, when you um, want to stop, push pause gently. Put one finger on the play switch and then with another finger, gently. Oh, that felt so good. All right. The same thing with record. If you're going to record, first of all, pause and gently push play and record gently you see and then you record right the same thing if you want to stop gently pause it if you can put two fingers in the switches now two fingers and with the other finger let it go you see the same thing, we rewind and fast forward. Don't just jam it. Do it gently. To stop it, the same thing. Fast forward, the same thing. Don't just stop it real quick. Just hold this one with one finger and with the other finger. You see that? How smooth that is? Well, that's a little tip for your vintage tape decks. The same thing goes for 8-track players. You know, you don't want to just take your tape. You just don't take your tape and just jam it in there. No, just take your time. You know, you you you, you, you know the people that know how to that have this stuff, they know what I'm talking about. You know, you know, put your hand here and with this finger gently Ah, you see, that was so good. And then, same thing, take it out gently. That way you don't mess up that, uh, that, the uh, you know, you don't mess up that. The pressure pads, yeah, there you go. Pressure pads, you don't want to mess up the pressure pads. Because if you jam the tape in there, like, jam it real hard, you mess up the pressure pads. And you can mess up 
something inside the a track player like the head you can um take if you jam the tape in there you can take the the head out of line you know then you gotta line it up again so the people that had this stuff know what i'm talking about so that's a little tip on how to gently put your tapes to play on your either a track or tape deck i got another tip give me a second a real um quick tip too uh, on the switches i always have this cover i always have something cover this but there's dust that goes in there so what you do is you see that is there some dust in there take a you know q-tip with alcohol my best friend alcohol and just go in there see you clean between there let that go fast forward clean that up then you go to play Clean that up. So I can do this, alright? I gotta do this one, this two right here. You see? You see how that's cleaning up? There's still some stuff coming up. And then you go to rewind. Do the same. And the stuff it did. Yeah, we go. We go in there. So that's another tip. Just take a Q tip with a little alcohol. And go between the the switches you know take take some of that dust off because no matter if you have this cover there's still gonna some dust is gonna go in there so you know and go inside the the jacks too you see oh look at that see it still has some little dust in there so we got it off all right tubers i hope this video helped and I will catch you next time. Take care. This is Ramon.